what's up glam fam and welcome back if you are new welcome 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 as y'all know we are family over here so what's up sis what's up bro what's up cuz let me know down below in the comment section how y'all are doing today i'm gonna be doing feed and braids with curly ends i'm gonna show y'all how i do it it's really simple and really quick um i start by parting her hair down the middle i also lay a little bit of the shining jam in the orange container down her part and i just straighten it up and then I'm going to start molding her hair down for the feed and braid. At this point, I'm just combing out some baby hair on the side. Um, and I'm laying a little bit of that um, shining jam on them to keep them out the way. And then I'm going to lay that shining jam around her perimeter and I'm going to comb it through to make it real sleek um, so these braids can be popping. And she has so much hair, y'all, so I didn't have to use as much hair as I normally would in a feeding braid because you still want it to look more natural than, you know, real big and bulky. So um, at the front of her hair, I also laid some of my edge control right there to control it and to mold it down before I start braiding. And as y'all know, if y'all watched any of my previous videos, I like to part out um, two, maybe three sections, um, and it helps me define those parts real good. And you'll see on this side, I use my comb to help me as well. Um, and then on the other side, I'm gonna show you how it comes out without using a comb. So if you still have to use a comb, use that comb, girl. Get that braid right, okay? Once I finish braiding her hair all the way down, I tie it off with a rubber band and then I trim off that excess braiding hair at the bottom. And now I go back in with that shining gem and I just literally smooth that hair in to make it super sleek and super together. And I'm going to turn her around so y'all can see what I mean. I'm going to repeat the same steps on this side and then I'm going to show y'all how I put the curls in.
did Rachel look when she was finished. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my edge control to lay her baby hairs. And then I'm gonna tie it down with some black strips so they can go ahead and set while I add her curls. start by wrapping her braids up into two buns at the back um this one i wrapped around like like a bun but the other one i'm gonna fold up and um y'all are gonna see what i mean see i went back and i folded that one up instead of wrapping it like a, a bun so it's gonna lay a little flatter and y'all i use crochet hair instead of track hair this time i've done this style before several times and every time i use track hair but this time i decided to use crochet hair the free tris water wave um i used a pack of hair per side and it is a great alternative so if you don't want to spend all that money on bundles um try this crochet hair now this style isn't gonna last you six weeks you know what i mean it's gonna last you every bit of a week maybe two if you're pushing it so um this is a great alternative if you don't want to buy bundles i literally just went in and crocheted that hair onto her ponytail and then a trick that I did was I went through um, all sides of that bun to make sure that it was secure up under there um, and I mean you just make sure that you're covering the braid as long as you can't see that braid hey you know that's the goal that's the end goal and this is the 22 inch um, free trips water wave hair I started off using um, the hair long and then as I got closer to the top I just cut it in half and used it because I want it to be full like super full so um, we end up using the whole pack on this side and then I end up trimming it down um, anyway so honestly if you don't want the ponytails to be that long I will go ahead and just cut it in half before starting Like I said before, you want to make sure you're getting all sides of that bun under there. So I flipped it up and clipped it so I can see the under half of it and I continue to crochet that hair in. Now I'm gonna take a few um, strands of that crochet hair and I'm gonna wrap it around as you would a normal ponytail. Um, I end up spraying some got to be glue on the roots and then I blow dried it so it can stay. Then I went in with some Crema Nature leave-in conditioner spray as well as some foam mousse to set those curls and trimmed it down some. 
And then right after that, you're going to see me wrapping some gold string around it. You can find that gold string at your local beauty supply um, for like $3. I'm going to repeat those exact same steps on this side as well. Okay, y'all, at this point, we are pretty much done. I'm just setting those curls. I'm going to blow dry the front of her hair to make sure her edges are completely dry. And, y'all, this style came out so cute on her. She had a competition this weekend. And so, this style is definitely fitting. Um, I would even wear this style if I didn't have dreads. So, 
yeah let me know down below if y'all like this style if y'all are rocking with it thank y'all for watching my videos and for rocking with me and as always i love y'all so much stay safe out there and i'll see y'all in the next one